So this time we're going to look at an initial value problem. Um, the equation we have is, well, it's not quite in the form of a linear equation, but if we divide by x, we have y prime minus 1 over xy is equal to x squared log x. Okay? So we need our integrating factor. What's that going to be? Well, mu of x is always e to the integral of fx dx, where f of x is the coefficient of y. So it's going to be e to the integral of minus 1 over x times dx. Okay, So that's e to the minus natural log of x. Okay. Uh, now, we might want to write that. Well, we can either write this as log x to the minus 1, or we can write this as 1 over e to the log x. Whichever way you want to do it, integrating factor is going to be 1 over x. Okay. So, multiply on both sides by 1 over x, and what do we get? We get 1 over x y prime minus 1 over x squared times y is equal to x log x. Right. So on this side, we simply have the derivative of 1 over x times y. We have x log x on the other side. So we integrate. Now, um, for that x log x, let's see. That's going to require a little bit of integration by parts. We're going to take Right, so if you have a natural log, that's usually the best choice for your u. That's going to be our dv. So du is 1 over x times dx. v will be 1 half x squared. And we're going to get, so uv is going to be half x squared log x minus half x squared. There's v, here's du. 1 over x dx. Cancel those, we have just half x. So we get 1 half x squared log x minus 1 quarter x squared. Okay, there's our, there's our result. So take the antiderivative of both sides. 1 over x times y is equal to 1 half x squared log x minus 1 quarter x squared, possibly plus a constant. Okay, um, And we can, we can put in that initial value now if we want, right? Well, c is isolated. That's going to make life a little bit easier, right? So if we put in x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 1, we're told that y will be equal to 0, right? Um, so we get 0 equals, well, that's going to be 0 because log of 1 is 0. 0 minus a quarter plus c. Okay, so c is 1 quarter. c is 1 over 4, and to solve for y, we should multiply both sides by x, so y is going to be 1 half x cubed log x minus 1 quarter x cubed plus 1 quarter, there's my c, times x, All right? And we're done. Now, remember, um, we won't do it here. I think the video, I mean, we're at about four minutes. It's not that bad. We can go a bit longer. Um, or, you, you know, maybe I'll do it and you can tune out if you're satisfied with this. We can always check our answers, right? Do, how do we know if we're right? Well, if that's the right answer, it should satisfy the original equation. So why don't we check it? Why don't we check and make sure? Is this actually right? Well, let's see. If that's my y, my y prime would be uh, 3 over 2x squared log x. And then it's going to be 1 half x squared, doing product rule derivative here. Um, 
Then I'm going to get minus 3 over 4 x squared plus 1 over 4. Okay, so 1 half minus, so that's minus a quarter there. So xy prime, I get 3 over 2 x cubed log x um, minus 1 over 4 x cubed plus 1 over 4 x and y was 1 half x cubed log x minus 1 over 4 x cubed plus 1 over 4 x and so if I do x, y prime minus y, if I subtract these, what do I get? Those cancel, those cancel. 3 halves minus 1 half, I get x cubed log x, as I should.